everybody, welcome to the Oracle Fitness Center. My name is Stacy. You are here for Core Express today. So we are going to expressly work everything that lo is located between the shoulders and the hips, front to back, side to side. You will need your mat, a mini band, and you know what? To be honest, if you don't have your mini band, that's okay. We'll still be able to get through uh, everything and you'll get a great workout out of it. I'll give you a couple mods in case you don't have this with you. Um, yeah, we're gonna spend about 15 minutes. Let's get to it. Our first exercise will be on our mat. We will need a mini band, or if you don't have it, you're still gonna be great. We have done a forearm plank with the, band, with the taps. We have done them with and without a band. So you do not need, absolutely need the band. It's just gonna add a little bit to it. By having that, that band's gonna be around your wrist. If you have it, you're gonna come up to that plank position. You can be up on the feet, you can be down on the knees. Shoulders are gonna be over the elbows, okay? Um, feet are gonna be out a little wider than they normally would so that you have a great base of support. I'm gonna have a little tension in my band and I'm gonna reach out and tap. Keeping those hips nice and squared up to the ground. No twisties, all right? Now that we're all set, we're ready to go. We got a set of 10. One on each side and one rep. Ready? Begin. Little tap, little tap. It is not a big range of motion. Nice work. Out of way, out of way. We got one more on each side. Great job. From here, well, we're just gonna stay in our beautiful elbow plank position. Now we're gonna get a little rotation action happening though. Let's come to those forearms again. Feet are out. It can actually be right in our regular plank position. And from here, I'm going to rotate and I'm dropping like I'm trying to get my hips towards the ground, but more than likely, I'm going to be touching my quads to the ground. But I'm getting that rotation happening as I do it. One on each side is one rep. We are going to get to it. Plank it up. You could be on the knees. You're just going to have less of a range of motion to rotate, but you're still going to get that same good rotational work. Ready? Begin. One on each side of one rep. Come back to that start position each time. Good. Nice work. Pushing up, pushing that floor away with those forearms. Not letting that chest sag, okay? Here you go, here you go. We got two more on each side. Good. And done. Beautiful work. We're coming back to the mat. Grabbing our mini band if we have it. If we don't, you're gonna do a regular dead bug. It's all good. If you do have your mini band, you're gonna have that mini band around the balls of your feet. <laughs> I wore red shoes and I have a red band. That that's a little too much camouflage. Going to be knees over the hips, arms extended, and it's gonna be opposite and back. And back. So I'm getting that big push out, just like we want to normally. If you don't want to use the band, don't use the band. You're still gonna get a lot of great work. We're keeping that trunk in a lovely position. No overarching through the low back. One on each side and one rep. Ready, begin. Good little baby tap with that heel. Very nice.
You got this. Love that tension that gets created in the front part of our trunk. Nice work. We got three more on each side. Two more on each side. Beautiful. Love it. So bring it back up. We get some great trunk work and some shoulder work. A lot, I know you love those two for deals. Bam around the wrist. Or not at all. Seriously, when you know we've done this exercise without it, it's just a different kind of work. We're getting a little bit more of that rotator, one of those rotator cuff muscles involved as we do this with the band. Set it up. Bring those feet a little bit wider than we think they need to be. And begin. You got this. Three more on each side. Woo! Love it. Don't go playing some hip dips. I forgot. It's a good thing I write it down, right? <laughs> We're back up to here. Feet at kind of that normal stance position. I can be on my knees. Ready? Begin. Still coming back up, pushing that floor away every time I come back to my start position. Great work. Reposition as needed. You know if we lose it, we got to get it back. Here we go, here we go. Last one. Beautiful. Woo. I know you're bringing it strong today. On a Monday. Getting after some good trunk work. Love it, love it. Here we go. Set it up. I got the band around the balls of my feet. My arms are going to start extending. Knees over the hips. Ready? Begin. Good. A nice intention with our work. We start to overarch through that low back. Reposition. Nice. Out of way to get after it. Nice control. Whoops, the daisies. Good, good, good. Baby heel tap. Two more on each side. Good. Out. We do all of those one more time. Be a lovely way to have a break in the middle of our day. Just a nice, I would say abtastic, but we're working way more than our abs, right? Band around the wrist. Keep a little bit of that tension. It doesn't need to be a lot. And we're pushing that away. We're not going to let. 
not going to let our chest cave in. We're going to be up nice and strong, okay? Set it up. Begin. Here you go. You got this. We got two more on each side. Woo! Those are good without the band, but men, they're dynamite with the band. Am I right? Hip dips and that beautiful rotation happening. Coming back to our start position. Owning it right there. Set it up. Begin. Good. You got this. Add away. Here we go. Here we go. We got this, we got this today. We got this Monday, two more. Woo! Love it. Back down on our mat. Band at the balls of our feet. Ready for some lovely anti-extension work. Making it happen. Set up those hips. Oh, <laughs> those knees on the hips. Arms extended. Ready? Begin. Sometimes I forget what my opposites are. Here you go. Love it. Love that effort you give. Love that attention to your dynamite work. You know you're getting the most out of it, but you have the best technique. When you're resetting as needed, we got two more on each side. That's beautiful. I love it. We are going to side plank hold because we got like a minute, more than a minute left. So we're gonna challenge ourselves. Stack those feet, elbow under the shoulder. Ready? Begin. Bonus work. We got this. Here you go, here you go. Love it, right here. Really bring those hips up. No sag. You got this, you got this. Here you go, here you go. In five, three, two, and one. Other side. Oh, this work. How lucky are we? Elbow under the shoulder, ready? Pop it up. Love how we notice those differences side to side. Already, my right side is like, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, it's okay, right side, you can do it. You're not left side, but you're still great. Right? That's the kind of talk we all have. 
in four, three, two, and down. Woo! Love it. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Stacy. You've been at the Oracle Fitness Center. We've been doing Core Express. You've been doing a dynamite job. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I will see you tomorrow for low intensity strength. And Caroline is coming up next with some yoga flow. It's awesome. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.